Hello, this is Minerva and this is Matt Schedules. Today I'm going to be talking about how to start Microsoft Project on your desktop. The reason I'm doing it is that it was really is easy before and I think a lot of people are having trouble. And if you're not, it's all right. You can skip this video and go on to watch something else. So the way to do it in your computer that has Windows installed, you usually go down here at the bottom where it has Windows, and then it has type here to search. It might look a little bit different for you, but if you have that, you can put it in here. You click in here, and you can start typing. You can see that I already have it here, but I'm going to ignore it now. And I'm going to put what I usually would put. I would put Microsoft Project. And you can see that nothing comes out with Microsoft Project or Microsoft. It would have come up by now. So I'm going to delete it, the name, and then I'm going to put MS, MS Project. And you can still see that Microsoft Project doesn't come up. So now to find Project in Windows, you have to actually just put in Project. I don't know why, but that at least on my computer and some other people, um, they've had this issue lately. So you just project, and Microsoft Project comes up, and you click on here on Project App, or you can actually click on here, I think, or on Open, let me see, click here, yes. And then it quickly starts up for you. And here it says that I have Office. I don't know if this is going to come up for you. I was already connected, but it says I have Office. And Microsoft, I have my account is Microsoft Project Standard 2016. I don't know why it's telling me that. When you have Project Standard, you already have it on your computer as a standalone project or software. But here it shows clearly that I am connected and they have connected me to my standard standalone Microsoft project. And that is not something I signed up for, but that's what we have right now. So that's something to talk to Microsoft about. So I close here and now I'm back to normal and I can start my new project and go on with creating a project. If you have this couldn't verify subscription, then you need to go again, retry. And then I do actually have the, not the subscription, but I have bought the standalone version, which is 2016, which is not a subscription based application. So that's another issue, right? If you're getting that, well, that is a mistake and should be cleared up by Microsoft. And make sure that all products of Microsoft are standalone, are not under the subscription model. We're not paying a monthly fee for it. So anyway, hope that helped, and I'll see you in the next video. This is Mad Schedules.